year. You must be glad to have a good chunk of the internationals back. Uh, what are your thoughts on the selection? Um, yeah, no, excited to see this group play. So, like, it's always there's always plenty of challenges. You know, every team has got some level of challenge. So, um, we're trying to reintegrate guys, you know, for their first game of the season against you know team uh, Benetton, a big win last week. Uh, they that team pretty much played the week before against uh, Edinburgh as well in a pre-season friendly. Some of them even played the week before that. So, you're playing against guys that have you know maybe what two or three games under their belt already. So, that's a bit of a challenge. Um, Important for our guys to respect that piece, um, and you know, so we 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 tried to. As in the lads have trained hard this week. Uh, it's been a short week, um, but anyway, we're we're excited to be back here at the RDS. That's the big thing. You know, we think we finished last season. You lose a game here in the RDS in the semi final. Um, so it's for us, to, us, us, up to all, all of us really. Like so, whether anyone that's involved in the team, it's you know, creating the level of excitement about being back here at the RDS um, because we need to make it exciting in terms of the product that the players produce on the field um, and everybody in terms of support staff feeds into that because we want big crowds here at the RDS uh, because we know it makes a big difference. Um, so yeah, it's sort of round one of that process. Um, so yeah, they're usually excited to get going now. Were you, were you relieved after last week as you look back on it or, or disappointed or delighted? Um, yeah, relieved, yeah. I did media on Monday, um, Monday, Monday evening. I uh, went to bed, uh, my wife woke me up here in the middle of the night, said she thought someone had been in the house, uh, went downstairs, my work laptop, passport, um, wallet had all been robbed out of our living room. So um, I was scrambling around last week, yeah. So by the end of the game in Zebra, I was very relieved that we, A, that I was there, and uh, B, that we got a win, bonus point win. Um, it was tight in the end. Um, so if anyone finds a uh, Leinster laptop bag with a laptop in it, with all my notes and my passport, I would have loved to find it again, please. Um, so yeah, it was a strange week, um, but we're we're through it now. And um, yeah, it's just looking on to the next challenge for our lads. So um, as I said, we got five points. It wasn't perfect last week, but we need to, we need to be a hell of a lot better if we want to progress and make the end of the season the games we all want to be involved in, which is playoffs. But you know, it's round two of of eighteen. Um, so, was, it, was, was everyone all right at home? I mean, yeah. Go yeah, it was unusual. Yeah, I have some footage of the guy going into our, the back of our house. So, um, but yeah, all part of the joys now. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're on the and case. Done. On the case, yeah. I remember when Bundy Aki's uh, laptop was stolen. Yeah, I'm looking forward. I must get in touch with Bundy now so you get the vigilante group back together again. <laughs> Well, we talk all the time. Yeah, like you know, always during this this, this season. So, like you know, you think you're coming to this start of the season, um, but like everyone's always making plans for the future, and that's players and staff, backroom team as well. So, you know, it's like the the silly season um, is there always. You know, up until a point where you know things get finalised. So we're in going to be in this period of speculation, shall we say. Um, and we can't comment on other people's speculation, you know what I mean? So, um, But there's always these pieces going on in the background. Uh, we're very lucky that we've got a very strong group, you know, some great people in our building. Um, and that's credits a lot of the work that goes on over the last number of years. So uh, we're very lucky in that regard. The reality is, though, there's lots of other clubs that look at some of the talent, whether that's players or coaches. And that's something that we have to deal with all the time. Um, and people make different decisions at different stages. So, um, but it's, and that's, you know, we're, we're trying to talk about one person specifically um, who's been amazing since he's come in to, yeah, into the group. Lot, lot, what do you mean, if he wants to um, yeah, but like, again, like that's, we're just commenting on speculation. So it's, you know, how long have we got here? Um, but um, yeah, we just deal with all these cases individually. Um, you know, just the nature of it, like generally people are signing not much longer than two years. So we're always, it's almost like every year there's 50% of your coaching and playing roster are off contract. So you just got to go through with that. So, um, and you know, that's like, that's part of the evolution of the team. It never stays the same. You know, we say it towards the end of every season where, you know, you're coming to the end of the season, but like that group is never going to be the same again. Like, you know, if you think like Dennis Leamy's now down coaching, in Munster, uh, Felipe, you would have seen involved with Argentina during the Rugby Championship. And, you know, there's other players have already started their careers in other teams, a few lads playing for 
uh, Connacht up in <coughs> Ravenhill last week. Um, a couple of lads you've seen run out in extra jerseys as well. So you know, that's just that's just the uh, part and parcel of the business that we're in. Yeah. Um, Leo, sorry. So you're bringing back uh, quite a few internationals. Is, is it fairly early in the season to be bringing them in? Uh, no. Uh, well, it's, I think it's going to be it's a short season this year. So like we're already in September. Uh, the season is going to finish earlier than it did last year. Uh, so you finished at the end of May. Well, was in, we hope we get to the end of May. Um, and uh, like if you think you know you have seven games in this block out of 18 in the league you know so it's a huge chunk uh, 40% of our league points get accumulated in these first seven rounds so it's it's a big chunk um, so yeah no we need everybody on deck um, you know even you know last week like we did the Emerging Ireland tour and you know you get the list of players comes through as to who's going to be gone and you know so you have to plan accordingly there as well so, so we need to get lads up and running um, and get excited for the season. Obviously, there's, you know, it's a short enough lead into November internationals, um, and you've go through the normal twists and turns of a season. Um, but yeah, the battle for points is massive at the moment. Yeah, I was just wondering with the emerging Ireland squad, what are your feelings about that? Like, does that put a bit of pressure? Um, yeah, no, definitely. Of course, it has pressure. You know, when you've X amount of guys away, but you know, it's a good opportunity for those guys to be away, um, and potentially an opportunity for someone else here as well. So, just got to get on with it. Yeah, just uh, to follow up on the on the team stuff. Just one question for me: Johnny Sexton, Ty Furlong, are they on course with their return? Have they just been given an extra week, or have, have they had any setbacks? Um, no, they're okay, but they, there's yeah, case by case. Yeah. Um, yeah, Johnny's probably a little bit ahead of say Tig is. You know, Harry Byrne was on tour as well, so he was getting extended uh, pre-season as well. Uh, Hugo picked up a has picked up a knock towards the end of last season, so he's got that man he fixed up, and so he'll be a bit slower. James was unlucky, you know. Well, as in any time a player picks up an injury, they're unlucky, um, but he'll be a little bit longer as well. Um, I think who else is on that tour? Yeah, but anyway, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, so. so there's nothing new with Johnny or, or no, no, no. He was yeah. he was trained away yesterday, yeah. so he's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ty was on the field yesterday, but like Johnny was, um, so no, he's okay. Harry was on the field as well. So.